G'day mate, and welcome back to Dyson Sphere with me, G8. Today, well actually, today, today we've got many plants, many plants. I want to get steel running, I'd really like to get oil running, and I'd really, really like to get the next science pack running, the energy science pack. But first off, let's do a quick recap of what we did last episode. So last episode we... Well, last couple of episodes, we set up our little workshop. Uh, we've set up brick smelting and glass smelting, which we're just putting in the storage for the moment. Uh, we set up our... I can't remember what it's called. can't remember what it's called. Uh, the electro uh, electromagnetic matrix. Uh, so we set that up there. That's our very, very first science pack. And we also set up uh, previously just a little bit of coal, just so we could go fill up our energy reserve. Uh, well, Fill up our mecha and make sure we can stay powered, which turns out I actually have none on me. So, you know, we're up a creek without a paddle. Uh, oh, well, no, no fuel on me. So what we want to do this episode is I want to set up steel and then we want to look at uh, research. At the same time, I want to finish exploring the universe, okay? So we have a simple tech here, 200 packs that lets us view the vein reserves in the whole planetary system. I definitely want that. Uh, and then back to research, normal research, we want to have... Thermal power, we're going to need that. We want to have, that'll give us like a coal generator. We can burn off uh, burn off fuel to make power. Uh, at the same time, we're going to want some fluid storage. We're going to want a high efficiency plasma control. This is going to give us a wireless power tower. This one's very, very important because you can pop these down and actually supply the mech with power from the base. So we're going to want those as well. We're going to want plasma extraction refinery, which is going to give us oil. Uh, the other thing we might as well grab is the electromagnetic drive, which will give us, you know, the electric motor. Very, very important. Uh, what other tech can we grab? We can grab semiconductors. Yeah, we're not going to use them for a while, but we'll grab them anyway. Uh, ah, landfill. Collect soil power from above zero altitudes and use them to fill up the ocean to make uh, the factory construction more convenient. Uh, just rectify the surface will consume the foundations. Okay, so this is landfill, basically. And that's it. We're out of room in our... Whoop, out of room in our queue. So we're going to turn that off so I don't have to see it on my screen. We're going to set up steel. Now, steel is fairly easy, actually. It is take some iron, smelt it, and then take some a power pole in there and a power pole in there. Take some iron, smelt it, and then smelt it a second time, and that'll give us steel. And we're just going to join these three belts together. Uh, out of that one, into that one, out of that one, over to here. Have, what do you mean colliding with another object? Uh, just join... Oh, join all the belts together. And I'm just going to run it across the water. And then a little flat piece there. And then let's go over there and pick up some of that coal. Because our... Our mecha is definitely burning through power. Uh, nope. Throw the coal in there. And we're going to want... We're still burning through power faster than we're making power. Uh, smelters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Generally, smelters will consume... Uh, smelters consume... One ore per second, and our belts move six six items per second, so generally it's a one-to-one -one ratio. And then we actually want a second row of smelters right in front of the first row. Because uh, the first row is going to be doing iron, iron, which is one iron ore per second to make one iron. And then our second ones are actually going to be doing steel, which is three iron plate over three seconds to, do, to give us one steel. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio. Uh, so if I... Copy that, paste, paste, paste. Can I turn that off? That makes my life a whole... Nope. Wrong button. Copy. Uh, paste, paste. Uh, so now we can view the rain, uh, the veins in the whole planetary system, which is the next thing we'll probably go look at. And then we'll copy steel to all you guys. We're going to grab our... Really? Really? 
one tall gap. Uh, we now have a thermal power station. I'm absolutely out of power. Yeah, we're burning the coal as fast as we can. We're just out of power. Uh, pop that in there, pop that in there, pop that in there, that in there, that in there, that in there. Run a belt across the front. Actually, we'll go to the lords of the north. And then we'll just whack another storage container. Right there. And we'll throw... After the bots drag themselves and slowly, ever so slowly, place everything. Come on, bots. You can do it. I oh, know. We're all out of power. It's fine. Research is doing great. Uh, that's fluid encapsulation, that which will let us uh, bring water up from the sea. And at the same time, we can... Oh, no, he has power. That's why nothing's working. Uh, can we get power in there, please? And power in there. Uh, that Did that actually... No, it's like two tires short. Of course it is. Oh my gosh, the power drain. Okay, we turns out we don't need that one. Alright. So, that should give us one steel. Uh, that's the research I want. Can I get... Please, three, four, four of those. Alright, where were we? So, um, although this should be a perfect ratio, as I've said before, to R, oh, we're out of power. Okay, we're having power problems again, so we might do something about that as well. First thing we're going to do is we're definitely going to kill the power network. We built a wireless power tower, which is suitable with long-distance power transmission caused by its longer connection distance. What's exciting is that it can also charge Mecha by using electricity from the grid. Okay, so we are draining the grid and powering ourselves up, but as you can see now, I'm fully charged, and then we're actually going to pick those up and take them with me. Uh, okay, so are you guys running? No. Why? Why are you having problems? Insufficient power. Okay, fine. We'll go do something about power. All right, so uh, between episodes, I went and laid down a whole pile of wind turbines everywhere I could. Obviously, I haven't laid in enough. So we're going to go and we're going to set up some automation to make wind turbines en masse. Now, we, we just unlock coal power, okay? We have lots of other power choices. But I've, I've got a save, which we've been playing over on Twitch. And I have found that I'm, wind power is, it's not OP. It's not great, honestly. Uh, oh, we can't build three high yet. Okay. Wind power is not great. But it works. And it works really well. And it works forever. Uh, I want to remove that. Okay. I want to remove that. So, what I want to do is I want to set up some quick automation to make... Uh, to make... Close that. We want to go in here and we want to make... Wind turbines. Uh, copy that. Paste that there. Uh, we want to have some sorters, which go from... Please line up. No, not from the second building. The ground level, please. Ground level, please. Ground level, please. Ground level, please. I want to have two coming out of the main building, out of the main storage. Into there. We want to put a power pole right where I'm standing. And they require some very, very simple ingredients. Okay? They require some... There we go. Uh, some iron, some gears, and some coils, okay? Luckily enough, previous episode, we went and automated the hell out of gears, which we're going to put straight in that storage. Thank you. Uh, coils. Straight into that storage. And then we're going to walk away and we're going to leave this. And we're going to let it run. And when we're going to come back in 
like half an hour, hour, we're going to have like a hundred wind turbines. And then we're going to go for a bit of an explore and literally put them down every, everywhere. Uh, now we unlocked engines. No? No? Oh, no. It's a couple of researchers away still. All right. So we're going to leave that running. Our power is going to be a little bit low. We're going to be a little bit behind on power, but that's perfectly fine. We do want to have storage. I want to have iron. Okay. We are storing iron here. One, two, three, four. Uh, can I get a few of those and um, belts, 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 belts. No, we don't have it unlocked yet. Where is our research? Thank you. We can now do crude oil. I want to add that to our research as well because that'll give us splitters. So it's a four directional splitter, which we're going to end up requiring for our oil build, believe it or not. All right, oil extractors, which need steel, which we ha now have up and running at least. Uh, over there. We just need to go grab a few bits and pieces and then work out where our, all our oil is, work out where a decent amount of free space is, and build a very, very large oil build. Uh, okay, we want three... Bricks. Bricks are back over there somewhere. All right. I uh, will. We'll be back in a sec when we start on our oil build. Welcome back to um, um, slowly conquering the planet with me, Jedi. So uh, we are out here just grabbing our first two oil seeps. So just dumping a refinery on both of these. As you can see, this one's going to do 2.01 sec uh, per second. This one's going to be doing 2.13 per second. At the same time, I've already picked up uh, many wind turbines, like 60 of them, and have wandered down to the... Hang on, let's turn on the electricity. There we go. Wandered from our workshop up here all the way down here just literally throwing down wind turbines everywhere we're almost at the south pole um but oil you're going to find is probably going to be your very very first mega project because i have two oil seeps here uh and that's the research we needed the four-way directional splitter and i have two more oil seeps up here i want to get about six oil per second and i need a large flat area that's clear to build out oil, uh, which was going to be built all the way up there. So I now need to run this belt from here, probably over a little bit, and then right the way up towards the North Pole to not quite the other side of the planet, but at least to the equator. So uh, I'm going to uh, put in one of those famous YouTube cuts, and like magic, it'll just happen. Uh, whilst we come on, Mac, just throw down a few more wind turbines. Because I've got six left in my inventory. Uh, and another reason why I use the wind turbines, and this has probably been the main advantage I've found with them, is as you walk down and throw them everywhere, there is a chance that at some stage I'm going to come out here and I'm going to want this iron, or this iron, or this coal. And power's generally pretty close, because I've already just thrown turbines everywhere. You actually have to go away. You also have to go away. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, we're gonna just put in a tiny belt. I think that'll line up. Uh, actually, no, I will show you guys planning the belt at least. Because this in itself is a little bit of a nightmare. And it doesn't help that mech is super duper duper fast currently. That's literally where I want to leave the belt, right there. We'll hook it into these two. I'm going to have to go and run towards base to restock my power before we run completely out. And I'll see you guys after the cut.
you have received the ability to fly. Double click the space key to lift off, and then use the arrow keys to control mecha movement. The moving speed will increase by 150%, with more energy consumed under flight mode. Pressing the Alt key can return the mecha to the ground during the flight. Well, there we go. Now we can at least make it around the planet a whole lot faster than we once could. Unfortunately, as you can see, it does sort of burn through the energy a little bit quicker. Uh, but our big project, our big project of getting all the way out here uh, with our oil belt has now been completed. That's our first mega project done and dusted. So we, if we check the power, we can see we're only using 50% of our current power, which is really, um, something I'm really, really happy about. Uh, research is ticking over fairly quickly. And in fact, I have basically grabbed all the mecha upgrades I possibly could. We can't do any of the baseline upgrades just yet. And as for um, standard tech, we can grab... Actually, I don't think we can grab anything. I think, oh no, we can get basic chemical engineering. We'll grab that. Uh, we can unlock the next the next uh, matrix and that's about it. So we are going to need, well, we're gonna need a belt from there to there. Uh, now, as you can see, this one also does, yeah, go away. Uh, this one can do two per second. And if we remember our other ones down here also do two point, 2.13 and 2 per second. So between all three of these, we actually have 6 per second. Well, 6 and a bit per second. And our belts only move 6 per second. So with these three uh, oil refineries, we have actually maxed out our oil. And we can now add more power, uh, add more, um, add more fuel to our mecha with that research. And in fact, I'm actually still crafting fuel. And can I also craft bricks, please? Bricks, bricks, bricks. Thank you. Let's get rid of all the stone I picked up uh, whilst wandering around the map. All right, so we're gonna need a couple of components. Actually, we're going to start with, can I get another one of those? Um, our crafting queue is massive, but that's perfectly fine. Because first thing we're gonna need to do is a whole bunch of planning. Uh, do I have, I do have normal power, a normal, Tesla Towers. Okay, let's put that there. That way it's powered at least. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is we want to set up refining. Now, refining is um, not exactly difficult, just it's 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 very much like factory. It is one hell of a build. So, let's start off with some simple planning, and we'll be back in just a sec. This facility will produce multiple products. To divide them, you need to set a filter on the sorter. You can use tab or the arrow keys on the right side of the keyboard to quickly set the filter when building the sorter. And we're back with things that are half built because that's as far as I've got. Uh, and the bots are not exactly fast, uh, so building things takes just a minute. Uh, okay, where are we? We want to have one in there. Okay, so we're trying to make refineries, and actually, I will link a video up in the top. Thanks. Uh, top right hand corner, which is how to do cracking for refineries because. I don't think we're going to get to that. No, maybe we'll get to that in this episode. Uh, but refineries, refineries are your first building that actually has two different outputs. So if we look at our sorters down here, and actually let's rebuild a sorter. Let's rebuild that sorter. Uh, if I grab a sorter and I put it on the belt, you can see it has a pre-made filter there. And I can press left and right mouse uh, left and right on the keyboard to pick what I want to have sorted where. I've actually intentionally had the hydrogen come out on the left hand belt and the refined oil come out on our right hand belt. So that's the first thing we need. Uh, where is that? Oh, that's there in my crafting queue. Cancel. Uh, I've also been, whilst I've been waiting for robots to build things, gone around and collected lots of plant life and trees and 
and rocks and all that sort of stuff. Okay, so we're going to want two of these uh, splitters. We're going to put one there and we're going to put one there. We're going to run... Splitter with four directions. It can split the passing cargo or balance the cargo on multiple conveyor belts. The splitting speed depends on the conveyor belt speed. Use the tab key to switch between different styles and click it to set priorities and filters. Okay, let's actually look at these first. So, these have, as as, as Mr. Advisor said, uh, they can have priority input and priority output. Okay, the reason we actually want splitters is very, very shortly, we're going to need to set up cracking for our oil. So, we produce not a lot of hydrogen and a decent amount of refined oil we're actually going to need more hydrogen than we have for than we have uh currently available so we need to reprocess our oil into more hydrogen so that's why i've put down the splitters so we can actually prioritize that to build uh but we'll get to that once we actually unlock the technology right at the moment we just need some power which should be there 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 and there 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 and there and that should start our refineries firing up so this is going to give us our hydrogen along with our um refined oil same thing we're going to want is a bit of storage because we can and i'm going to try and keep these in line you built no. a storage tank it is more suitable for storing fluid than the storage each storage tank can only store one single type of fluid and can be built vertically However, once it has been removed, all the stored fluid will be devastated. So, if you use liquid storage, which is strongly recommended for liquids, don't pick it up. Because if you do, uh, everything in it just disappears. So, we're going to hook up our uh, refined oil into this storage. We're going to hook up our hydrogen into this storage. I want them offset because they've actually got four belts that they can exit out of the building. So I do want plenty of room between the two of them so we can exit in two different directions. Now we have oil up and running. Uh, we can now work on the energy matrix, uh, which requires our hydrogen and our energetic graphite. Energetic graphite comes from coal, which conveniently, uh, so back to Northview, I have a vein right here with a second vein right there. So I'm going to go start on that and we'll be back in a sec. So, we have coal, which is like three miners done on a belt, and then into a smelter to turn the coal into our electronic graphene, elect, elect, elect what? Energetic, energetic graphene. And then in theory, it should be a couple of matrix lamps, one, two, three, and then... Okay, graphite. And then dump a belt in the middle because we're going to have to get hydrogen into the other side of this. Now, these ones, the blue ones that we're already making take three seconds. The red ones actually take six seconds. They're going to take twice as long to craft. So we're going to have to try and double up our laps. Now, I want to try and get, no, down. 
we want to try and get a couple of tiles flat and then run the belts, the output belt over the top. So we can get our input belt, no, flatten this out, uh, underneath for our hydrogen. And then move our matrix labs nice and close. Get our sorters to go in, 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 out, and out. And then finally, it should be a case of plug the hydrogen in, no, not quite there. I think that's that. That's the tile. No, I'm off. I'm still off by a tile. Uh, there into there, and with that done, we should start be able to producing the energy matrix. Now, it is miles from where we have the rest of our buildings, so it is going to require probably another lengthy belt to traverse half the planet. But that should be fine. It's something that we we've definitely mastered setting up oil. Uh, Come on, move out of tile. No, you don't like the power pole there. Fine, move the power pole. And then set power pole back up. And then we'll probably keep this belt raised. Now we have to go from here to that's where our labs are. Uh, so we need to either decide whether we're gonna move the, uh, what are they called? The blue ones, the electromagnetic matrix from there to somewhere more convenient for us, or whether we're going to move the red ones from here all the way there. I think for simplicity's sake, for right now, uh, I'm going to go through the process of, again, planning a very long belt, uh, which we will have raised at least one tile up, so we're going to always build under it in the future. And I will see you guys in a minute when we hook up this belt. Well, the belt's planned out at least. As you can see, it starts there on the other side of the planet and runs basically in a straight line and then down to there. So, again, a bit of YouTube magic. And with the last belts finally placed, we now have Matrixes doing a lap literally uh, around half the map. Um, nice dead straight line and then a nice dead straight line all the way down to our lab. So, with that done, I've been ticking off some of the last researchers, and we also have started buffering up the uh, energetic graphite because it's actually a very, very effective fuel source for Mr. Mecca. Uh, and also, whilst I've been doing random, random construction projects, I've been harvesting the world for um, these rocks these rocks that were randomly around the map and also the trees because in our inventory you will get occasionally randomly organic crystals and titanium both of which are going to be very very important in the near future but i i strongly recommend and we're going to be covering it in the next episode and i'm actually going to link up the top right hand corner to a tutorial video i've already put out because you might notice that our fuel is stacking up the refined oil and our hydrogen is not really and we're using the hydrogen, but we're not using the fuel. So we need to find a way to consume the fuel and in some way, shape or form and increase our hydrogen output. So uh, the very first research we're gonna do is X-ray cracking, which will let us confer, uh, convert the uh, refined oil across the hydrogen which we'll be covering in the next episode. But as I said, uh, there is a tutorial video linked at the top right hand corner that'll show you exactly how that process happens. And in the meantime, we're going to just follow our cubes around the planet. I did put fuel in, yeah, I did put fuel in. Uh, follow our nice red shiny cubes all the way around the planet, across to our labs. and throw a single sorter on here and we can start actually doing red research um we still got what's this uh processes to unlock um that's the last of the blue tech we can actually unlock and the other thing we might do because i haven't done it already is craft up a storage and we might just store 
some of these packs. Uh, do we store it at this end or the other end? Probably the other end, because there is a good chance we're going to move the labs in a future episode. So... Where are the labs? There they are. Now, a lot of people asked, I did cover it in my storage video, which again, I might link that up in the top right hand corner because we can definitely stack things. In theory, I can add a sorter off that into that. I've had absolutely zero luck in having this happen reliably. Uh, can we... No. No. That's what we want. We'll move it back a tile. See if that works. Logistics. Uh, actually, I need the second one on top. That would definitely help. Yeah, no. Oh, now it wants to link to the backside. Okay, matter of interest. Matter of interest. Curiosity. Curiosity's sake. If I have a belt that's intentionally that high. No. I have a belt that's intentionally that height and one tile closer. Yeah, no. Invalid connection. That's all I get. Yeah. So, we'd have to bring this down to ground level and then do storage here, which I will do off camera. Either way, I'm going to leave this episode here. So, as always, I'm going to thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to say I do hope you guys enjoy. I do hope you guys are enjoying... Uh, enjoying Dyson Sphere Project as much as I am. If you're new here, I do encourage you to click the subscribe button on the way out. And lastly, I will mention, there is a good chance that when this video goes out, I'm actually streaming over on Twitch. So you can always click the URL, uh, click the link up, to, up the top right-hand corner or type the URL, URL down the bottom left-hand corner um, and come join me live on Twitch and see where we're up to on Twitch because I think the Twitch base is up to 25 hours worth of playthrough and I think we're about to go to a new solar system. Anyway, with all that said, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you're enjoying and I'll see you guys in the next episode. All right, bye.